Hey guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a summer travel video for you guys all about the best travel products for flying with a baby and a toddler. For a baby or a toddler. Um, I am a mom of two little boys, a two and a half year old toddler, and a five month old baby. And we have been traveling around this summer because we have family all over the country. My family lives out in Los Angeles, so I have done many trips back and forth with my oldest, and I'm taking my youngest as well this time for the first time in two weeks. I'm really excited. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the products we use when flying that really, really help us. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marian. I make videos about being a Jewish mom and I would love it if you subscribed. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so the first travel product I have to recommend is my all time and number one, do not leave your home without it. And that is a baby carrier. This is the Ergo 360. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me carrying my baby in this. A thousand times because it is so so helpful even if your baby's great in the stroller it is so nice when you have to fold up the stroller or go through security or just have them out of your hand so you can take out tickets and passports and IDs etc my baby and most babies that I've ever encountered love being in baby carriers and are quiet in baby carriers and are happy in baby carriers often sleep in baby carriers so for me this is just the number one travel essential when you go anywhere is baby carrier, especially with nap times that get off track. At least you can guarantee that if you put the baby in here, they'll sleep. But really I recommend it for the airport especially. And I just love mine in general. The next product I wanna recommend is a bottle carrier. What I like about this when traveling is even if you have TSA pre-check, etc., if you're carrying breast milk or formula and, it, and it's more than the number of ounces that you're allowed to fly with, I like putting it in a separate bag so that when security um, needs to scan the milk, they can just have this separate to do it otherwise they'll need to go through your entire bag and that's just pain and takes a while so I always keep this bag separate it's also a cooler bag so it keeps the milk cold this one is from skip hop by the way I will link everything down below in case you're interested in buying it but yeah, I really recommend carrying your milk separately so they don't have to scan your whole bag. You are allowed to travel with breast milk, by the way, and formula, but if it's more than the number of ounces, they do need to scan it. Speaking of bottles, the next product I want to recommend is this Boone Travel Case. It comes with two brushes. We've lost one over the years. I might buy another one because this whole thing is only $12, so it's really worth it. It has the best bottle brush, and it has a bigger one as well, and then it has this drying rack. When you're washing bottles um, in like a hotel room or someone else's house, you don't want to be putting those bottles on a dirty counter. So it's really nice to have a travel one with you. Continuing on with our bottle theme, I want to recommend these sterilizer bags from Medela. I sterilize bottle parts in just boiling water, but on the go, these are really nice. You just microwave them for a minute and a half and let the steam do the sterilization for you. They fold up into nothing, they're just a little piece of plastic, and you can use them 20 times before you have to use a new one. Another thing I love on the go is our travel monitor. We used to always travel with our regular monitor, but it would break, and that was really sad because our normal monitor is a video monitor and very expensive. So for travel, I just like this one. It's only, I think, $20 from VTech. I will link it below, and it's just a sound monitor, but it was fine for us. I like it. It's not the fanciest monitor out there. It doesn't have any bells and whistles, but it's really sturdy. It can go in your suitcase and it's only 20 bucks. So if something happens to it, it's okay. So one last thing to mention for the breastfeeding mama, I've mentioned this thing before. It is my nursing cover. And what I love about it is it's also a car seat cover. If your baby falls asleep in the car seat, um, it goes around you and you can wear it just as a scarf and it's not too like over the top and then you can also nurse in it so it's kind of one of those multi-use products i really like this one speaking of multi-use product my favorite one of all is probably the eat it in an eye blanket i've mentioned these a thousand times also but you can really use them for everything i can i tie them together as a nursing cover if i don't want to bring that one a blanket for your baby to lie down on and just kick it in the airport often when you're waiting to board the plane and your baby's been in the stroller or the carrier and they're about to be sitting on the plane the best thing for them is just to lie down and kick it What's also really nice is you can tell which side is the top and the bottom, so I always make sure to put the bottom on the dirty surface, like the floor or the chair, and I know that my baby's always on the clean surface, so I really recommend bringing a little blanket like this. It folds into next to nothing, the tiniest little thing, 
but it expands and is a great blanket on the go. Okay, then moving into any age kid, I like bringing a wet dry bag with me. This is also from Skip Hop because you never know what kind of messes you're going to encounter with little ones. And I like being able to contain them. You could of course just bring a Ziploc, but if you're going somewhere where you're gonna be at the beach or the pool anyways, and you're gonna have wet bathing suits and stuff like that, I think it's worth it to just bring the wet dry bag. They fold up really small, they're reusable, they wash easily, and they're just really nice to have around. My other essential item for the airport is a fanny pack. I know it sounds dorky, but it is just the best thing. I put my phone, my wallet, and some wipes and some hand sanitizer in this little thing keep it on my waist and then no matter what's going on with my bags and my baby etc I know that those essentials are right there and my hands can grab them super easily okay then for babies who are old enough to be eating I love taking one of these reusable plastic mats with me I place them on the tree table or out at a restaurant on the dirty table so that when they're grabbing food off the table like if they're not yet old enough to use a knife and fork and plate this is fantastic I will link it below it's by neat solutions it's very inexpensive um, it just folds up next to nothing. You can wash it just like you would bottles and it's really nice to have a clean surface for your little one to eat off of. Speaking of eating, I love to bring my Camelback water with me for my toddler son. What I like about this is it does not spill. He loves the design of it. It's really cute and it's pretty compact and I like being able to see how much water is in it so I can make sure he's actually getting enough to drink, especially when you're flying and get really dehydrated. Okay, my little one is up from his nap. For anyone who's watched my videos, you know that this little guy pops in towards the end of most of them. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some big ticket items. The first one is the stroller. I do not have the Baby Zen Yo-Yo. I have heard so many amazing things about it. I just have not purchased it. It's just a little bit expensive but I do love me a good stroller and I have used many <laughs> traveling. The one I recommend for if you have one kid and you want an umbrella stroller is the Inglesina Net. It's a slightly more expensive umbrella stroller, but it's really, really nice. And the best part is it doesn't need a separate trap. It doesn't need a separate travel bag or anything special. When you get to the gate, you just fold it up right then and there. I have always had my stroller returned right to me as soon as we exit the plane. I have heard if you're traveling internationally that sometimes that doesn't happen and that's why it's nice to have the baby Zen yo-yo that fits up in the overhead with you. But for me, it's always been so easy. We just snap it right before we get on that plane board. I usually will put them in the carrier at that point if I've got a lot going on. Um, and then get it as soon as we exit the plane. So I've never had a problem. For two kids, we are using the City Mini GT Double, which again, is really nice because you just fold it up and it has a one-handed open. Anyone can do it. So for me, like when I have two kids with me, I've noticed that the staff or the like air, the air people, <laughs> what are they called? The ground crew, <laughs> when they bring up the stroller, they're like, here, let me open it for you. And because the City Mini GT literally just open like that, anyone can do it. So it's really nice to just have that help and to not have to worry about putting it in a bag and taking out the wheels and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so speaking of traveling with two kids, another thing I really recommend, I've mentioned this in my diaper bag video, is to have two separate mini bags for diapers, one for each kid. So whoever needs a diaper change, whichever parent is taking them, they just grab their bag and they're good to go. So obviously for my older son, Max, he has a much lighter one. Like we just have a change of clothes and a diaper in there. For Corey, because he's a little baby, I have like 100 diapers, three outfit changes, wipes, etc., etc. But it's really nice because then we don't have to take all the bags and shuffle through who needs what diaper, what wipe, etc. They just have their own little bag. We just grab it and go. Okay, then my last recommendation for toddlers is us foreign books, especially we have two boys in our house, so we're a little bit into construction and cars, um, but this one is look inside construction sites and look inside things that go, and there are, it probably says it on here, 40 flaps. There's so many little flaps for them to look at. My son will happily just stare at this book on his own, lifting the flaps, telling me all the trucks he sees, we seriously spend so much time with these two books. They're not too big, but they've got so much packed into them. So I love traveling with these two Usborn books. They are definitely they are definitely some of our favorite things to travel with. Okay, and the very last thing I want to recommend is a little bit out there. 
is this. <laughs> this is a tripod for your phone. Obviously, I'm on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, so I need to you know figure out ways to take pictures easily but this is has one of these like grabby claws by the way this was not expensive i think it was i'm gonna link it below i want to say 17 and it comes with a remote so if you love to get pictures of your family but you hate asking random strangers to take them then i really recommend buying this it's not that expensive it lasts a super long time it can be hooked up to a regular camera as well and it's just so nice so when we're taking family hikes we're out at a touristy spot you just snap this thing onto a wall you like a bendy a wall a pole a tree anything like that you just get these little grabbers to fit around it and then you just use the bluetooth remote to snap the pictures it's super easy and fun and we now have all these amazing pictures of our family that i didn't have to bother random strangers to take and i could take a hundred at a time without anybody complaining <laughs> So that is it. Those are my best gear for traveling with babies and toddlers. If you're going on any vacations this summer, let me know if you're going somewhere awesome, if you're taking kids for the first time. If you guys have recommendations for me, I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!